Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, dogs, and cats. Welcome back to Common Level Up. And today we're here again in our Hearts of Iron 4 World Tension thingy. And we're just going to get right into the game. Press and play. Um, I've had a couple time, a couple issues actually recording this episode. So I kind of know what's going to happen. Yep, that was going to happen. Colombia joins the European Federation. And I think there might be a few other countries that start joining in with the European Federation as well. So um, if you remember last time, Russia had taken over Estonia and Latvia. And actually, I looked at their, um, I looked at their focus tree and there was actually in their focus tree there were claims on Estonia and Latvia so that's why they were able to do that last episode I was kind of perplexed on how they were doing that it was pretty crazy actually but um also if we look over here the Confederate States the war is starting so the Americans and the CSA is actually fighting or finally fighting right now so it looks like they actually pushed up into Ohio a little bit it usually is pretty um, stagnant in the beginning but I think for the most part, the uh, the Americans do quite a bit of damage. It's going to be quite hard for the CSA to actually win, but I don't know. Who, who knows? We might see some um, some old strategies come back into play. El Salvador just joined. Cool. So we might see some old strategies come into play where, you know, the Americans try to take the coastline just like they did back in the original Civil War. And it'd be really cool to see them try to capture, like, all of the Mississippi River to try to split the CSA in half to get them to capitulate faster, just like they did in real life. I think that'd be pretty cool. They're trying to liberate Texas here, even though, you know, I'm sure they have a claim on Texas. Ecuador just joined the European Federation. That's three new countries. Cool. Also, one thing I need to mention um, before this game really gets, you know, gets rolling this episode. Um, the game just updated to 1.3.3, I believe. Maybe it's 3.3.3 or something like that. Two divisions from Western... Raj. U Ugandan Raj. Oh, I forgot. U does Uganda still have Western Ugandan Raj? Oh, okay. So, Pakistan. Pakistan is still owned by Uganda. That is crazy. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, one, one of the things I needed to get into, though, or I needed to tell you, was the game just updated, and everybody's focus trees got reset. <laughs> Un unless, I mean, maybe, except for a few. Or, or maybe they didn't, but they just, I just... It just looks like they did. Um, let's check, like, Libya. Libya is just a normal country. Got Momar, or M Momar al Qaddafi here. Um, actually, Libya's is pretty good. Maybe it's just some countries that got, you know, like, reset or something. Because, like, I checked Algeria, I'm pretty sure, is the country I checked. Uh, and it didn't have anything. Oh, it had all this over here, I guess. So maybe they didn't get reset. Maybe just I'm going crazy. I checked Turkey as well. They're getting army focus. Oh, yeah, look. We'll look at this. Turkey. Oh, they have a bunch of stuff up here. Okay. I'm just going crazy, guys. Just ignore me. Just ignore my craziness. Okay. Let us get back to the war over here. How are they doing? They're pushing down into Oklahoma a little bit. They're pushing down into Virginia. Shit. The war is raging. The Americans are fighting each other once again. Just like good old times. Well, we've always kind of been fighting each other, but... It's whatever. Let's check the faction mode. I have seen your comments. You guys didn't want me to stay in faction mode the entire time during the game. So um, I'm not going to do that. Just I just usually do that just because I think it's uh, easiest to see what's going on in the game. Just because, you know, there's so many factions. There's so much stuff happening. So that's why we stay in faction mode most of the time. It looks like Egypt is actually getting attacked by a huge army right here. And it's pouring into Egypt right now. They've captured most of the eastern coast. So, um, does that mean Israel's all back? Yes, they are. They did capitulate to, um, Egypt, but it looks like they're probably gonna get Egypt at this point. Um, and Egypt was doing a good job at, with all their volunteers pushing down into U South Sudan. Was South Sudan still owned by Uganda? Because I know it was once... A, oh, no, it's, it's a puppet of Djibouti. Djibouti. Nice. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Jace. Palestinian Persia is really is this owned by Palestine oh my god wow maybe some stuff got I don't know if this was like all like this in the past <laughs> last episode maybe some things got got jibbled up since uh since the update happened Turkey um are you still justifying against Greece I guess not they're just on and off with that jeez it's been really close to just a big full-scale war hasn't it? just because Turkey's just doing their thing. Um, okay. So we're seeing more countries join the... Oh, whoa, look at this. <laughs> Florida. 
Message from Mozambique. Cancel the lend lease. Okay. No problem uh, from Egypt. Egypt says no problem. So the Confederate States are getting attacked by Ireland <laughs> um, in South Carolina. And they're getting it. Or Florida's getting reliberated, looks like. Um, I can't tell by who. Just some countries came and then they left. Or some troops came and then they left. There's troops all over the place in the water out here. It's crazy. Oh, and the Americans are trying to attack Cuba because they're at war with the AEDU and, and Cuba joined the AEDU. Oh, it looks like the the uh, forces, the American forces, jeez, that sounded gross. Oh, my, I'm, excuse my throat there for a sec. I, I, haven't, I need a drink of water, jeez. Um, they're trying to cut down here. So they're trying to cut like possibly a piece of uh, Texas off to be able to get in there and encircle some troops. They could be landing more troops in Florida, too. I think the CSA is going to be done here. I wonder what will happen to it. I wonder if, like, America will annex it back or they'll just, like, puppet it or something stupid. I don't know. That'd be kind of funny if they just puppeted it. Or just, like, replaced its government. I think that'd be pretty ridiculous, too. Okay. Oh, there was, this, there was a peace conference there. I didn't see what it was. It didn't show me. Is it is it Egypt? Oh, it's Egypt. Okay, Egypt surrendered. And uh, Egyptian Republic. Is it a puppet of anything? No, it's not. Um, but it got... A bunch of its land got taken by Israel. All this land got reinstated. Zambian Sudan. So Zambia now controls this area of Sudan. Nice. Um, South Sudan. Are you? What are you owned by again? You're owned by Djibouti. Nice. Wow, good job, Zambia. I never think, you know, would have thought, you know, you would have got a colony. Jeez. This is still pretty funny too, right? Austria is, is the puppet owner of Arabia currently. Um, but yeah, so things have gotten quite a lot more peaceful out here uh, in this region of the world, even though there's two pretty large factions that are pretty tense with each other. And remember, the... Oh, whoa, look. Ethiopia joined AEDU. I didn't even realize that. Is, does that mean Ethiopia is communist now? They're socialist. I guess that's... I guess they're considering that close enough. <laughs> Possibly. Wow, that's... I didn't even realize that. Oh, in South Africa, too. Whoa. Okay. There's another one. Does anybody else join anything weird? Um, oh, look. Syrian Union of Nations. Is this... Okay, the Russian state. I see. Russian state has, like, some of these weird states up here. For some reason. Nice. Um, Russian state gonna do any more expansion? We could check. Are you are you planning on anybody? I don't think so. I think that they're just they're just done. They just wanted to kill those two little countries and just be done. Confederate states, kind of getting your butt kicked here. Jeez, a bunch of your states have been captured. The entirety of Georgia and South Carolina have been captured. Um, entirety of Oklahoma, Texas is currently being liberated. Florida has been completely liberated. Jeez. Yeah, the CSA is pretty much done at this point. I would surrender, I guess, if I was the CSA. Just surrender, CSA. I pr I'm pretty sure the U.S. will probably just try to reclaim and annex it. One division for France. Cool. R arrived in Louisiana. Shit. Maybe, there's some maybe France is supporting them because, you know, the French landed in Louisiana, and Louisiana is their capital currently because Richmond got, got captured. Whoa. Okay. Poland joined... Oh, hold on here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What just happened? I was just about to check the India-China war, which I'm sure is just still as it always has been. Just pretty much boring. <laughs> it's been going since the beginning of the game. Jeez. Poland joined Middle Eastern Coalition. Okay. Uh, Greece is calling France... Turkish-Greek war. Okay, wait. So it's happening. Okay. Did anybody else join the factions? That's all I want to see. So they so they declared war. Um, okay. So there's going to be a big front right here, actually. There's going to be a lot more fronts than I thought because of Poland joining. Uh, is anybody else going to join? Let's see. Shit. Okay. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. This is, this is exciting. This is the exciting part, right? Sweden joined Middle Eastern Coalition. Oh, shit. The European Federation is not looking too good. Trinidad and Tobago joined... A Middle Eastern coalition, and the Egyptian Republic joined. Mid they were just fighting a war. What the hell? Oh, Mar Martani Martania. I have a hard time saying this one. You guys always get pissed at me for saying it wrong. 
Mauritania, I'm pretty sure it just is. And I apologize for saying it wrong, even if that's wrong. Okay. They joined the European Federation. Benin joined the European Federation. Wales joined Middle Eastern Coalition. Jeez. Okay. Um, I, I apologize. I can't press F9 to change my, uh, to change it into faction mode to update it because it'll actually pause my recording software. So I need to change that before I can actually pause that. So this is getting weird because we get a lot of European countries actually joining, um, this, this, uh, you know, Middle Eastern faction. I'm putting it on four so we can just be a little bit slow here. Um, India, Ireland is called Benin. People are calling it people under the war. Okay, but yeah, Egypt was just, I guess they got defeated and their government was replaced, I guess, but um, they were just at a war with, with Turkey and I guess Turkey forced them to join their, join their stuff, join their faction dur during this war. Okay, look at this. Greece is pretty kind of winning this war though over here. Look at this. They are pushing in. Turkey should be winning this war. I don't know why they're not. I guess it's American support here. There is quite a lot of American support. So we have the two... Um, biggest factions now duking it out in Europe, in the Middle Eastern Coalition. We have Romania, Hungary, Austria. Um, we have the Czech Republic. We have Poland for the European Federation. We have Greece, Macedonia, Bosnia. We had Slovenia, but Slovenia is being captured by Austria right now. Um, okay. We have Northern Italy or just Italy. We have Southern France. We have um, Germany, which is kind of complicated right now because of the Germany situation. It's not really a country quite yet or any... Whoa! Look at this! Holy shit! How does... Oh. How does, um... Oh, wait. Okay, wait. Hold on. So the CSA just joined Middle Eastern Coalition. Uh. Wow. Okay. Merged with Confederate Reclamation of Florida. Nice. But look at the Swedish army. <laughs> What the hell? They have a huge army. How do they have this many units? What happened there? That army is just going to stomp anything in its path. How did this get even created? <laughs> I, I'm so perplexed by that. Okay. So we have our first kill, I think, which was Slovenia by Austria. And Austria is actually attacking into um, France right here. I will turn it on to the normal, um, the normal map mode just so you guys can see for a little bit because you guys don't like to watch the faction mode the entire time as I've read in comments and I respectfully uh, reply to. There we go. I think all of the troops in the European Federation are actually out here. Oh yeah, look, there's so many of them. They're returning to Europe right now, but they're actually out here fighting the Confederate States of America. So this is where their whole army is and meanwhile... Um, this is happening over here where the Middle Eastern Coalition is just attacking Europe or the European Federation hardcore right now. I wonder if the Syrian Union of Nations will take any part in this, if they will choose a side or if they will, you know, be their own fighting both of them. I think that would be pretty cool um, because the Syrian Union of Nations, you know, has the Russian state and the Russian state's pretty powerful. So, I mean, I think Sweden's a little bit more powerful at this point, uh, honestly. So they're planning on attacking uh, Germany, and the Polish are actually, they have a huge army with the Czechs, too. Um, they have a huge army, and they're pushing into Germany right now. Germany's not going to last too long. I don't think the European Federation is going to last very long. Man, jeez. The Middle Eastern Coalition is, is crazy strong right now. Um, let's check the war, and it was, it was merged with, I guess it's the Turkish Greek War. Okay. Um... So let's check this, okay? So, Bangladeshi Upper Volta was was taken out. Okay, so that was taken out by one of these guys down here. Um, let's see, Ghana's under attack as well by the European Federation. I didn't realize that there was a front there. Um, let's see, is anybody else under attack? Oh yeah, the Confederate States is pretty much dead at this point. Okay, and on this side, Canada, 8% towards capitulation. Wow. Maybe it's that little invasion up in the east. Slovenia is dead. France is 32% towards capitulation. Holy shit. Wow. Okay. Jace. So it's going in favor of the attackers right now. Middle Eastern Coalition, now the world power. We did have, you know, a little bit of, tend of tense, uh, tense, you know, 
Dipl Dipl I don't know what I'm even trying to say. That, you know, it was very tense between these two factions. And, uh... Oh, shit, look. Wait, wasn't Cuba in... Oh, they got taken over by the U.S. Okay. So Cuba fell to the U.S. Um, tensions were very high between the European Federation and the Middle Eastern Coalition. And now the war is happening. I can't wait to see the peace deal between this and this war. There's going to be a lot of colonialism. It might be the opposite way, too. It might be a lot of um, European countries being colonized by like Middle Eastern countries. Which would be so weird. But pretty cool, too, at the same time, because who has ever seen that? That's, that's crazy. Okay, so the Turks are attacking um, Greece. Greece is attacking the Turks still. Still pretty pretty even here. Nobody's really winning. They're both taking different parts of the land from each other. Um, and uh, some of these guys are safe, like Bosnia. Bosnia is pretty safe here, I think. Uh, they have not attacked... Oh, they have um, Sicily right here. No, that's not Sicily. Jeez, I'm sorry. This is Sardinia. And I say Sarsidinia, and I apologize when I said Sarsidinia, it's Sardinia. I don't know why I said that in the past. Jeez. Um, Sardinia is in the Middle Eastern Coalition, so they could use this as an attacking uh, point into Italy or into France. Where are, they, where are their armies at? Why is it that it seems that, you know, Sweden's army is giant, but everyone else's army is, like, non-existent almost? Is Denmark in the war? Sweden is planning on attacking Denmark. Denmark is not in the war, though. Is is Sweden at war with Denmark? I don't think so. Let, we, we can just check really quick. Uh, oh, shit. I mean, this... Is there a flag in there? Um, no. Okay. I don't think it is. <laughs> I guess Denmark might have to choose to join a side here, possibly. Wales, are you, are you actually doing any work? You got a little bit of an army here. That's, that's good. A little bit of a landing zone, so you guys can attack... The leader of the European Federation, Ireland. This is dangerous for Ireland um, because there is a point of military. Uh, I guess there's just a bunch of enemy military right across the water. And if they were to attack, they would take Dublin pretty fast because there's like no troops over here. It's all volunteers. There's Slovenian. I guess there's some American. There's some Americans coming. So, Jesus is getting tense. They've captured most of Germany. And actually, a lot of southern France. Um, well, the northern parts of southern France. <laughs> also, Portugal is in the Middle Eastern Coalition, by the way, if you didn't notice that. Um, so, yeah. Jeez. This world is going crazy still further. Uh, I'd say... Oh, look. Bangladesh is in the Middle Eastern Coalition. So, that means there's a front between India and Bangladesh. Um, they will duke it out. I guess Bangladesh is currently gaining a little bit of land, but I'm not sure if they'll be able to keep that up. Um, is this going to affect India's attack into China? Their manpower has gone down by about like four or five million, which I mean is a lot, but not very much for them, to be honest. And China's is still at a zero, so they have no people left. They have a lot of nukes, though. I don't know if they're using the nukes. There's still a lot of opportunities for other countries to join the wars as well. I think Ghana is pretty, pretty much dead at this point. They're still defending themselves, barely. But Benin is doing a good job at attacking. Let's go into this map mode so we can see. So Benin controls all of this. Benin's right here, though. Um, this is controlled by Ireland, I guess? I'm pretty sure this was a colony controlled by some other country that you wouldn't think that has that colony. Brazil is a pretty big army, too. Look at this. Brazil, you're doing good. You are doing good. Um, do a lot of these countries have just huge armies? Colombia is planning an attack on Brazil, um, which is, I think, does that make sense? Oh yeah, Brazil is in the Middle Eastern Coalition, so there's going to be fighting on this on this front here. The European Federation are going to have to put some troops in South America in order to combat them, because they have a big army and they could lose Colombia and Ecuador pretty fast if they don't watch it. Okay. Look at that. The CSA. Dead. Boom. They're gone. Isn't that crazy? They're already dead. They've got a little bit... Oh, they moved their capital up here to Canada, of course. Because that's where they belong, right? So, the U.S. has captured the um, Confederate States back into their own country again. Congratulations, U.S. You're doing a good job. 
battles are raging in Greece and Macedonia right now. Um, the Turks, I don't know, did the Turks capture this island? If they did, they, they left, but if they didn't, then it must have been some other country. Um, but yeah, so there are battles happening in the south here, as you can see, or, or northern Greece. Um, it looks like, yeah, it looks like the Turks have pushed in a tiny bit. Um, Macedonia's army, I don't think they've been called in yet, so they're, they're just kind of waiting here. They could definitely, I think if Macedonia's army got involved, they could probably push back the Turkish uh, assaults. Oh shit, look, so there's Polish troops. Um, let's look at Greece, I mean Turkey. Yeah, so they, they went right past Athens, but there are Polish troops here and other volunteers that are just attacking Greece right now and totally pushing in and defeating Greece. Shit. Rest in peace, Greece, right? Oh my god. So, Greece is getting attacked. Macedonia will be next. I don't know why they're not doing anything about it. <laughs> um, France and Italy are pretty much undefended right now. I think it's because their armies are like in other places fighting other places there's others seriously 70 Indian divisions here no it's mostly just like mostly American actually okay so Texas is still independent um, I don't know if the US will try to reclaim those countries back Canada is attacking um, the CSA that's in Canada <laughs> because you know they they kind of own those parts and they kind of you know want want to get the CSA out of Canada <laughs> which makes sense Oh shit, look. S Sweden wants to attack Norway, but are they gonna attack Norway? They have one division. <laughs> they have one division set. And 41 division set up here, actually. Are they are they gonna attack? Let us check. They are not a going to attack, it looks like. They're just putting them on, they're just trying to be tough. They do have a lot of divisions elsewhere, though. Fighting in other places. Look at Austria. Has a bunch of territory over here in like Germany and France. Well, they're occupying it at least. I think Austria's could probably gonna have a nice big war score. They have a lot of victory points. They're controlling a lot of them at least. Um, got a big one here, Strasbourg. That's worth a lot. Finland joined the faction. Wait, hold on. What does that mean? Okay, and the Pe Basque People's Republic. Basque joined AEDU. So Basque went. Basque went communist. Communist. Wow. And Finland joined Middle Eastern Coalition. Finland has joined Turkey. Okay, Finland joined Turkey finally. So, um, if the Syrian Republic of Nations goes to war with Middle Eastern Coalition, that would be a pretty cool war to see because there would be even more fronts. There would be Russian uh, attacking. There would be the Russians attacking the Finns over here with the support of the. Uh, or the, the Swedish would be supporting the Finns over here. Um. We would also have a front over here in Libya with uh, Egypt, which probably Libya would lose, but um, also military Yitria is still here, or it might not be military Yitria anymore. It's probably just Yitria. No, it is still military Yitria. So it's, is it fascist? It's nationalist. Nationalist. Yeah, so there would be some pretty cool fronts if that war happened, um, but I think we're gonna have to end this one here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. The uh, Middle Eastern Coalition has pretty much taken over large parts of Europe. Um, oh, the AEDU is actually fighting the European Federation as well. I forgot about that. So Basque is attacking uh, France and Southern France. So they're probably going to come over here into Barcelona as well. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you like this episode, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys all next time when I don't even know. I can't even guess anymore what, <laughs> what happens in these games. Jeez. Alright, peace.